these people are going through some intense judgment right now when it came to you and what they put you through. They want to play devil's advocate in your life and it and you saw right through it and it backfired like never before. What gave these people the right to play devil's advocate in your life? What gave them the right to play the role like the devil to make you look bad just to make them look good? This is what you went through with, with these people. They try to make it seem like you were the bad person, like you didn't know who you were, like you didn't know what you were talking about. Some of you guys have got fired from jobs because the jobs want to play devil's advocate in your life. And I have had it happen to me as well. I was on a job and the manager actually told me, the supervisor, I'm going to play devil's advocate in the situation. And no, I did not stay on that job long. They got rid of me and it was for my best interests. And this is what God is basically saying about the situation. Anytime somebody want to play devil's advocate in your life, they're not being led by the Holy Spirit. They being led by the devil himself. They don't see your value. They don't see your light. They don't see who you are as a person. If they do see it, they choose to be blinded by it. Because we live in a superficial world where people think you're nobody because you're not in the supervisory position or you're not you you're not the multimillionaire right now. You're not known. You're not a celebrity. So you must be nobody because nobody knows you. But what these people fail to realize is your heart is pure. God knows you. He knows that you're a good person. But yet they so into trying to fit in with the world, these people. They were so comfortable in fitting in with the world that they couldn't even see that God was using you to give them a spiritual chastisement. Glory, hallelujah. This is what you went through. People don't even know that God will purposely set you up in situations and let these people show they behind in and out because they've been showing they behind, you know, he will let them show they're behind against your life. He will show up and put you right in the middle of a crazy place that you do not fit in just so he can give these people what they need spiritually. Some people reap karma because of you because of your purity and your light and this is why god does this yet they want to play devil's advocate this is why you got to be careful with people that play like that because they're letting you know when they play devil's advocate over you that they they don't they don't care about god they only care about being a devil and being wicked because the devil deceived them into believing that they're gonna get some gain or something out of that and if you look at chapter John 10, 10, this is what the devil would really do. This is all the devil's trying to do. So these people were deceived into believing that the devil was going to give them blessings. And because you're falling after pure, uh, if you, you're falling after righteousness, that you're not going to be blessed because you're not doing what the world does. You're doing what God told you to do, but it's the minority compared to majority. And you know, that's just like in a, a, a vote just like in a vote the majority wins the majority votes win but when it comes to God and the devil it ain't about the majority and who it's about who's righteous and who's not righteous in this situation you were righteous and these people were deceived and to confirm that they were deceived we're going to go to John 10 10 somebody put 10 10 in a chat because I've been seeing that prophetic number I saw it three times yesterday, 10, 10. And God led me to John 10, 10 to talk about what the devil would do. This is all the devil is based off of. So when these people got deceived, they really got deceived because this is what the devil comes to do. John 10, 10 reads, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The devil's job is only to come to steal, kill, and destroy, along with a thief, a robber. But 
Yeshua comes that you might have life for more abundantly. You came in the name of the Lord, Yeshua. You came in the name of Jesus over you. You came in that way. They came in the name of the devil, playing devil's advocate. And it backfired triple fold because the devil don't care about nobody. Did these people think that the devil cared about them because they were coming against you? The devil don't care about nobody. They can have their little supervisory position. They can have their popularity. They can have their fame. But in the end, these people are going to be miserable because they came against a good person like you and didn't even know you was the reason for their karma. They don't know that when they come because they used to being devils and being wicked. And God used you just to set it up. And then he removes you from the situation, but you saw right through it. And when I think of people playing devil's advocate, a lot of y'all devil people that play devil's advocate in your life, whatever, whoever it resonates with, there's, there's a lot of people that play devil's advocate in your life. They wasn't led by the Holy Spirit coming for you. You wasn't crazy. You wasn't nothing wrong with you. You felt the way you felt for a reason about this person, these people, or this group of individuals, whoever it resonate with. You felt what you felt because they were being the devil. They were led by their flesh, their weak flesh against you. They thought because you were pure hearted and that you, they thought you didn't know nothing. They really thought you were stupid and dumb, but you were really intelligent. Your mind was highly intelligent. The Holy Spirit was letting you know, you could see right through people. God gave you spiritual discernment to see, by, see through people and situations. This is what these people did not understand. But when I think about Devil's Advocate, I think of the movie Devil's Advocate. How many of you guys watched that with Keanu Reeves? Now, being a devil and playing the role of Devil's Advocate, it does not get you in good standing or good favor. In this particular movie, The Devil's Advocate, you had... Keanu Reeves the actor that played the role I forgot his actual name in the actual movie though but Keanu Reeves plays the role of the character he was a lawyer in this movie and Keanu was winning all his cases he was getting rapists off he was getting people that was doing wrong things off and he was just only concerned about winning cases now Al Pacino was known as Satan. But Keanu Reeves didn't know that he was Satan in the movie. And he was he moved him to New York, helped him win all these cases. And by the end of the movie, Keanu and his wife started suffering. Wife started seeing intense demonic spiritual things. Al Pacino turning this guy's life upside down and, and he can't even see it because he's too busy worried about winning cases, playing devil's advocate. Then he find out that Al Pacino really was Satan at the end of the movie that was helping him win them cases and that he was his father and wanted him to create the Antichrist. And in the end, Keanu, it didn't go well for Keanu at the end. He just, he didn't want to take the deal after he already went that far. This is why you don't play devil's advocate. Just because you being a devil, that don't mean you're doing righteous things. Just because you're going to win a whole bunch of money or this is what these people didn't get. Just because you get 20 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand for you being a devil or because, oh, if you be a devil against this person, you're going to grow up. You're going to go up into supervisory position. You might even become the manager because you're playing devil's advocate and doing this stuff just to keep up with this facility or community. You play devil's advocate against everybody that's being good and righteous and we're going to give you a promotion this is how these people think but they might be promoted in the physical but spiritually they are being demoted they are being demoted spiritually just that's why you can't look at everything in the physical this is what you guys got to realize you cannot worry about things that happen in the physical you might have got fired from that job you might have got ridiculed by a group of people that thought they were better than you Okay, you might have went through these humiliating things with people, but were these people being good or were they being devils and demons and operating in low vibrational energy to come against you while you were 
coming with the high vibrational energy, the Holy Spirit anointed energy and the light. But because you were the minority in the situation, glory, hallelujah, and they were the majority in the situation, glory, hallelujah, they thought that they were going to be better than you and that you was you lost that battle. But really in God's eyes, you won that battle because you stayed pure and righteous in your heart while they was being devils. And you don't know what they went through shortly after that. You don't know if God basically turned their life upside down because it was a test for you and it also was a test for them glory hallelujah you obeyed in righteousness because god said he he reigns on the just and the unjust he reigns on both sides and you operated with the spirit of righteousness and they operated with the spirit of wickedness but yet it seems like they got the blessing and it seemed like you got the one that didn't get the blessing but really god is saying you are the blessed one because you stay true to yourself and not let the world turn you into an evil wicked person just for a promotion or just for some money or just for some fame and popularity you chose not to do that and this is why you are on top today glory hallelujah somebody say amen somebody say amen do you hear me right now everything ain't what it seems everything that glitters is not gold yeah, these people being devils. God sees that they being devils. The world is praising them for being devils. Glory, hallelujah. The world might be praising them for being devils, but that don't mean that they favored by God doing these wicked things. Playing devil's advocate in your life. Are you still there? Are y'all still with me? There's plenty of people that play devil's advocate and God is saying he saw everything. He saw everything that these people did against you. He saw the humiliation. He saw the ridicule. He saw that they didn't let you fit in with that group. He saw that you didn't fit in with the high school crowd back in high school. He saw that you didn't fit in nowhere. He saw that you were by yourself. But look where you are today. And look at where these people are. They might still be in a supervisory position. They might still get a little blessings here and there. But y'all on two different sides of the coin. They serving Satan and the kingdom of darkness, you serving the Holy Spirit in the light. So them energies wasn't going to mix anyway. So this is why you didn't fit in. You should be thankful that you didn't fit in with a whole bunch of devil worshipers. People that choose to play devil's advocate. People that choose to mock your light and your purity because they want to be wicked and foolish and think because the world is ran by the devil that they are blessed when really they not blessed. They just popular to the world because the world don't know God. But you know God. God said he reigns on both the just. So they really being deceived and an illusion when God reigns on the just and the unjust. They're in an illusion that the devil is winning. That the devil is really running this world. The devil ain't really running this world. God is running this world. And the devil is running this world by default. Because of the fall of Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 1. But all that's going to come to an end. The devil still got an answer to the Heavenly Father for everything. So these people are highly deceived about what they're doing in their life. Highly deceived by the devil and the blessings that he said he was going to give them. But really they turn out to be curses because they're going to have to answer for that wrongdoing that they did against people playing devil's advocate in people's life. Eventually they're going to have to pay for it in the end. This is why you live righteous and pure. But yet, these people thought you didn't see through their foolishness and wonder why you don't want to deal with them today. And you shouldn't. Now you're shining brighter and better like never before. Why? Because you chose to go after righteousness. You chose to go after righteousness. And God said he's proud of you for that. Let these people continue to play devil's advocate. And if you have not been in the situation, it might be a time where you run across the situation when you know you're doing everything righteous and people choose to play devil's advocate. So now they're purposely getting you off jobs, purposely setting you up just for you to be terminated, purposely setting you up for you to something bad to happen to you. Just know God got you covered. 
God got you covered. You got protection angels around you. You got protection angels around you. Little do they know. So whatever they plotting and planning, it's not going to work. You know your worth. You know your value. And certain situations you just shouldn't, shouldn't be in. And the Holy Spirit will let you know that you shouldn't be in them situations. But yet they want to play devil's advocate. Y'all have nothing to worry about. People that play devil's advocate, they are not happy. They are miserable people. They are not, they're not happy with their life. They carry a dark aura to their spirit, even though they might be in a position of power. If they don't have that Holy Spirit, it means nothing. They, they position of power, Wherever they are, their popularity, their celebrity status, whatever you want to call it, wherever they at in life, it means nothing when they got to go home and be miserable from all the wickedness they have done. So you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about if people playing devil's advocate in your life. God knows they're playing devil's advocate. You know they're playing devil's advocate. But they try to make you look like the bad person. God said, dust your feet and walk. Let him take care of the matter. Move forward in peace. If you reach to the end of this video, it was meant for you to hear this particular prophetic message. The Holy Spirit commanded me to do this video at this time. He knows they play devil's advocate in your life. And he's going to handle them accordingly. Because he handles men according to... Whatever they done in this life, he give them back what they deserve according to what they have done. So you don't have to worry about that. Keep moving forward. Keep being righteous. Keep being led by the Holy Spirit. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.